you will need shea butter, a mixing bowl, hand blender, a spatula, measuring cups, extra virgin olive oil, essential oils, peppermint and lavender I'm using and a container. The Natural Remedies Encyclopedia, this book gets a big thumbs up from me. The book has a plethora of various DIYs remedies that you can try, educates you on how to formulate these DIYs to address various ailments. So to make this sheer butter whip, you're going to get your bowl and put two heaping cups of sheer butter into the bowl like I'm doing here. That was a second um, cup that I was putting in and use a spoon or something to scoop it out. Then you want to take one cup of extra virgin olive oil and pour it on top of the sheer butter like I am doing here. Then you want to grab your essential oils and put about five to 10 drops of each essential oil into the bowl. So I'm using peppermint essential oil and lavender essential oil. I quite like these. I've been using them um, for years and I've seen them do great things for my hair and its health. Then you wanna take your hand blender and begin to mix the mixture into your desired consistency. If you are one of those people that like um, your mixes to be a bit thick, then maybe reduce the amount of oil you put into the mix. If you want it to be extra creamy and soft, then increase the amount of oil. So here is what it will look like. So it's quite soft and creamy, very easy to make. And I'm just showing you what it looks like on my hand. I love it. Honestly, love it. I use this on my hair and I have used it here and there on my skin and you can do the same. So once you finish mixing up the loveliness together, you want to take your container and a spatula and then transfer the mix into your container of choice like I'm doing here. I actually had to get another container because it was a lot. And then a hack I like to do is just to gently slam the container so it's all uniform and then I seal it yeah I don't even know what that meant but I hope you saw and understood what I meant <laughs> yeah so if you wanted to let's say gift this to somebody here is a way you can wrap this so what you can do is get a, a fabric of your choice I'm using some African fabric that I have and you want to take the four corners and gather them together like, I've, like I just showed you, and then secure it with a band or a ribbon to make it look extra beautiful. I've actually done this in the past. It was a very unique way to gift somebody some share butter. So, uh, yeah, and I'm just showing you what it looks like. So, guys, let me know if you try this whip out, this shea butter whip, this DIY. Please share this video with at least one friend. Ensure you check out this video, The Benefits of Shea Butter. And have you ever wondered, is yellow shea butter fake? Check out that video as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please share this video with at least one friend. Have a good day. Ray.